The name Percy Parker Williams is synonymous with advertising and media training, but there's another side to him that many may not know about. Percy Parker Williams, the artist, and according to him, art is apparently his first love. This is the season to be happy. Open up your eyes, get great big bargains, and give titles when you shop at Belly. And that took them up. His advertisements remind us of our childhood, and to the younger generation, it may signal the era when local advertising companies began to experiment artistically, pushing the limits to what could be done. For artist Percy Parker Williams, the advertising sector was only one part of his creative journey, which began in the 70s when he and his wife migrated to the United States. A trip to Wall Street at the heart of Manhattan's financial district piqued his interest in art. He longed to hang some of the pieces he saw in his apartment, but he couldn't afford them, even the $10 options. And I started buying Bristol board and markers and sketching. And people would come to me and say, those are beautiful, give me one. So I'd give them. And while there, I started buying canvas and paints. And I was working, at one time I was working Chase Manhattan Bank in the Wall Street area. And I was a bookkeeping supervisor. And I told the boss, the manager, I said, listen, I paint, I'd like to display my paintings here. And he agreed. And I sold a couple of pieces. In 1979, he returned to TNT and found other ways to nurture his creativity in the advertising field. He outgrew the demands of the agency lifestyle and branched out on his own with Parker Williams Productions Limited in 1982. His 72 clients included Pennywise Cosmetics, Bagwan Sings, Charon's Bookstore, and just about every product or company who wanted to create an advert back then. His debt insecticide commercial with late Calypsonian Brigo and his Decas Petroleum Jelly adverts still live as some of the most iconic advertisements locally. He admits that the story of the bumblebee sting for the Decas Petroleum Jelly advert was true, but he added a few lines to give it an extra flair. And I added, but don't worry, Lincoln, you some of this Decas Petroleum Jelly with aloe vera. What did it do? Well, look at the insect sting, sunburn, small cut, rash. Let me see it. Decade petroleum jelly with aloe vera. The eye peeling good already yet. Decade petroleum jelly aloe vera. It's not easy at all. I can tea clearly now. Boom. Soon after, he opened the media training school, Institute of Broadcasting Careers, and coached many of the prolific acts in the local media and entertainment fraternity, such as Jason Williams, Samantha John, and Marlon Hopkinson. But his one true love, art, kept calling his name. In 2017, he stopped teaching and gave his full attention to his first true passion. Initially, he focused on still images like boats and people in action, and to this day, he admits it's hard for him to part with his paintings. Because I like them. You see, I, I like what I do. Uh, and I change, because after painting these things, I got into flowers and vases and that kind of thing. And I always had an eye on abstract. If I'm painting somebody from a picture, I have to look at that picture and paint it as it is. Or a building, but not with abstract. I could do what I want to do. A visit to a nursing home fueled his decision to dabble in abstracts, and the result was a host of faces on one canvas, which then led to individual faces and other images. Similar to his eclectic life, Percy uses a variety of colors and materials in his paintings, adding that he prefers acrylics because of its versatility. Because I throw paint here and there, and I make lines, and I, I use pens and markers, and a little music, and all sorts of things. I use napkins, I just dab the paint, I use plastics, I use lots of things. And when it's finished, I, I like it. And my wife would pass me and say, that's a nice one. I said, it's a nice one, you like that? She said, yes. Yeah. So we get things like that going. Once she says that, I know it's great. As for the future, Percy will continue to produce art and host exhibits of his pieces. And at age 76, he still believes he can truly be one of the greats. I want to be a great artist. I want that. I want to be 
big in art. Everybody knows me in advertising. Everybody knows me in, in teaching broadcasting. But people are buying my art. So I like that. I like that feeling. I am Kimberly D'Souza and this is See Yourself on TTT News.